the US government. So in the US it is big business, and I would suggest in the UK it is also very big business. But the problem is, happily. Uh, giving way, and he's making an excellent speech. Uh, just on this point about how clearly we can define the issue of lobbying and influence, um, I, perhaps I could just give a, very briefly give an example. In 2019, I wrote to the then chair of the Conservative Party, the Honourable Member for Great Yarmouth, who is now the Northern Ireland Secretary, raising concerns about a gentleman called Ehud Shelek, who was at the time the treasurer of the Conservative Party. Uh, I raised concerns around national security and also around potentially permissible donations because of Mr. Shelek's very close connections to Russia. His father-in-law is a pro-Kremlin uh, politician in Ukraine at the time. Uh, the Honourable Member for Great Yarmouth chose to reply to me uh, by threatening to sue me for libel. Um, so I'd, I'd welcome the Honourable Gentleman's comments on that, what, what he thinks of that response from the Honourable Gentleman for Great <coughs> Yarmouth. And um, last week, the New York Times uh, revealed that um, Mr. Shelleck had made a large donation to the Conservative Party, which had been was connected to a gift he said he received from his father-in-law that had bounced around five or six different bank accounts in Europe before landing in Mr. Shelleck's account. Does the Honourable Gentleman believe that somebody like Mr. Shelleck would meet the threshold for being registered as a foreign agent, even at the time that he was treasurer of the Conservative Party? It's one of the things that has assisted um, what has eventually happened in Ukraine. But, Yes, of very course. Briefly, just, just very briefly on the point of golden visas, I'm sure absolutely welcoming, as, as he does, the government's decision to stop the golden visa scheme. But does he not think it would be incredibly helpful for the government to publish its review into the golden visa scheme, which I think Parliament's been waiting for for more than a year? I completely agree with my honourable friend for Aberavon, and indeed, I'm absolutely confident... Noting the concerns of the Russia report over the influence of foreign money in our politics. But the... Certainly. I thank the Honourable Friend. She's making an excellent speech. Um, does she agree with me that it seems that there's a loophole because um, the National Crime Agency uh, and the Electoral Commission but are both saying that they will not look into the real source of financial donations to political parties. So they say it's permissible if it's come from a British citizen or somebody that's on the electoral Role, and then they don't look into where the money may have actually come from. So if a British citizen has received a, a large sum of money from someone who's not on the British electoral roll, they don't actually look into the source of that. What, what would she say needs to happen to close that loophole, which seems to be a massive gaping hole in our defences?